Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another tier list video and today I will be arranging the top 50 slice of life animes um, from any list, uh, not my anime list. I'll talk about it why I didn't like, choose my anime list for this one. Uh, and I'll be kind of putting them just like I did with the uh, isekai uh, video that I did and I'll rearrange it according to my preference and talk about them and give my opinion on them and uh, the ones that I haven't watched or forgotten um, I have a separate tier list for them it's the haven't watched or forgotten tier list I'm going to put all of them over there and the other ones I'm going to rank it just like it is on the screen 1 to 10, 11 to 20 just like that up until 50 so now the big question I did this with the isekai but I did it from my anime list so then why am I doing it in any list this time? Because I first I was I went to my anime list to check out the top slice of lives and I realized um, there's a weird thing about my anime list about this is that it has divided uh, the tags into two slice of life and school. So half of the animals that are coming in slice of life are not coming in like you know like school and the ones that are in school are not in slice of life. It was weird. So half of the slice of life shows were gone. So I was very confused, I, don't, I didn't know what to do, so I went to um, Analyst and I think here the way they did it is a lot better because there's a slice of life genre but at the same time along with slice of life genre there's a few action genre as well along with it for example Mob Psycho, it's a blend between slice of life and action but I'm like Mob Psycho isn't really a slice of life so I didn't include it so what I did is like I excluded all the action shows which are like you know, integrated with slice of life i've excluded them only like the ones that i think are kind of slice of life i've added them only so there might be a few that you won't be able to see here like you know which probably has a bit more action than it is i have excluded them like i said mob psycho yeah it is a slice of life but i feel like mob psycho is more of a fantasy like you know like like that kind of a show like it's like a fantasy mixed with action and slice of life so i don't think it can i i didn't want to put it in the you know the slice of life tier list and uh, a few others i'm going to mention them as i come across them which i have excluded which i thought that it doesn't really fit in this genre uh basically it's like i i kind of rearranged the thing from the beginning so yeah i'll talk about them eventually the ones that i excluded all right anyways so yeah, that is what I have done. I went to my anime list, uh, sorry, I went to Analyst and uh, searched the slice of life, excluded the action and put it based on popularity. So all time popular shows will be shown here and I'll talk about them and I'll rearrange them according to my preferences and give my opinion on them and stuff like that. All right, so let us begin then. Um, so the first one is Koe no Katachi or um what's the english name silent voice i think yeah uh koi no katachi now uh this is at the top in my any uh, god damn it in any list and yeah it deserves it however for me i'll rearrange it for now i'm gonna put it at the top because it's the first show that i'm putting and uh i it's it's a great show you know it's a very it's a movie not a show though um uh, it's a great movie and it is definitely one of the best slice of life um, emotional movie that I have seen. And uh, I, I've seen a lot of people compare your name to kind of not compare, but kind of rank your name and silent voice. And a few of them are like, oh, your name is better than silent voice. A few of the people are like, oh, no, silent voice is better than your name. Uh, my opinion is I rate uh, Silent voice a bit higher than your name because I I I was genuinely like what can I say it, it was very touching this this movie is a, one of the greatest movies uh, a very emotional a very like you know like kind of delves deep into a few of the important like you know stuff like bullying and stuff so yeah it's I'm pretty sure at this point everyone who watches anime have seen this if you haven't then you should definitely do so because yeah this is a movie that is just so emotionally just it, it, it's it, it's crazy I, I i just loved it so for now i'm gonna put it at the top i will rearrange it though as i go on right the second anime here if you're wondering what what my phone is doing i'm trying i'm seeing the um the top and i'm kind of talking i'm looking at it which at the top and i'm kind of rearranging rearranging it here that's why the phone is 
here. All right, um, so the next one is your line in April or Shigatsu Wakimi no Uso. I didn't expect this to be rated this high. It's like number two. I wasn't expecting that. But, okay, I'm going to put it here for now. And I have to say, I'm going to put it before your uh, silent voice. Just because silent voice, I feel like silent voice would have, it's great, you know, it's a, it's a movie, it's in a movie format, as far as I can remember, the silent voice had like a one shot, no, not one shot, or was it like, I don't remember, at first I think it was a one shot manga, and then it kind of, they kind of ex expanded it, so, however, uh, you know, your line April, I feel like it having like 24 or 25, I think, episodes, made it so much more impactful, and uh, was able to, like, I don't know, like, Kind of make us so invested in the story like going through a span of 25 episodes you know so i'm gonna rate it a bit higher than uh silent voice and i'm pretty sure uh, most of the people have watched your line in april and uh yeah it it's one of those shows that makes you just you know just cry <laughs> and there's a few of them um and uh you know like i feel like this would have been better in the drama genre you know i'm gonna do a drama you know like one as well but i feel like drama and slice of flesh are really like interconnected so you'll find a lot of drama shows over here as well so this is like a mixture like like a drama plus slice of life kind of thing i'm gonna make a drama tier list later on as well uh, these will all be included there probably <coughs> but yeah uh, you're lying april um it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I at least kind of rate it a bit higher than Silent Voice just because, you know, like it has so much more episodes and it has been able to make like a, make us so much attached to the characters in the end, just then completely, <laughs> just completely taking everything away. So yeah, I'm going to put it at the top for now. Next is Dora Dora. And here my bias will be speaking a little bit. My nostalgia will be speaking a little bit. I'm going to put it at the top, even higher than uh, your lie in April. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me on this, but like I said, this is based on my preference, and I prefer Toradora a bit more because I'm a bit biased towards it. It has it's been one of my first shows that I've watched uh, in the whole slice of life comedy genre, and it has been I don't know like when I started anime, I watched this, and it like nostalgia and all that stuff is speaking and kind of making it a little bit higher than it should usually be. But Dora Dora is a fantastic show. Uh, like newer anime watchers probably might not know about this, but Dora Dora was the thing back ten almost ten years ago. It was one of the best ones, and people every like everyone watched it. And I'm sure a lot of you new anime watchers have also watched it. But a few of you guys who probably didn't know about this, or maybe you have heard about it but didn't know whether to watch it or not, you should definitely do so because. Um, Dora Dora is great. It has drama, it has comedy, it has um, slice of life bits, it has romance, like it's, it has like everything except action and mecha stuff, you know, <laughs> and horror or those type of things, except those, like all in the slice of life genre, everything that kind of can be included and fitted, it fits in Dora Dora. And uh, obviously, like, you know, like, I have a bias towards Sundre characters, Aisaka Taiga being one of the, I, I remember her being called the queen of Sundre back, not her, but I guess um, uh, Asuka was the queen of Sundre, wasn't she? Yeah, but everyone really kind of, like, you know, like, like rated, um, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Taiga very high. And uh, I, I loved characters like her, and that's why I watched, I watched it, and I wasn't really, <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. It was a fantastic show. It has a good conclusion, um, and uh, yeah, like, I feel like a few people kind of complained about the conclusion of Tora Dora, but I didn't feel that it was that bad, because I feel like a lot of people didn't like it, because it kind of kept it in a very, like, I wouldn't call it open-ended, but in a vague way, they kind of showed us the ending as to like, oh, this is what's happening and that's it. But like, and I feel like a lot of people would have preferred a more concrete ending, but that in itself was pretty good. You know, like I, they kind of gave a little after credit scene, I remember. And in the after credit scene, they kind of showed us what would happen. And uh, I wasn't really that, much, I didn't really have any complaints with the ending. So I rated highly. Also, probably because of the fact that um, I play visual novels and there was a visual novel that I think like Toradora Plus or something like that it was named that came out which actually continues the story from this anime 
in a kind of an interesting way. Like Ryuji gets amnesia and he forgets and he has to rekindle his friendship and like you know his love with the other characters. And over there, uh, potential heroines like Ataiga is there. Uh, Ami was also there as a potential heroine. Um, um, what's her name? God damn it! What's her name? Min- Minori, I think. Yeah. Was that her name? The the pink-haired girl or the red-haired girl? Yeah, she was also yeah Minori, I think. Uh, she was also there as a potential heroine, and um, that kind of concludes the story in a better way. It gives a very concrete conclusion. Like I I played that as well, and I have to say that was also really good. You know, I, I especially loved Ami's route. It was it was just peak. I loved um, Ami's route in that visual novel. Like it was everything that I wanted. Uh, like you know, a different route that I wanted from the anime. Ami was probably one of my favorite characters in the show, alongside Taiga. So yeah, like so I rate Toradora highly just because of that. Again, my bias is speaking here a little bit. All right, the next one is Kaguya-sama Love is War. Now again, don't, don't come at me, please. You know, all you Kaguya-sama fans, don't come at me. I'll put it be- below Toradora. Please don't come at me. Like I said, my bias is speaking. You know, like this is my list. I'm going to. I'm going to like kind of rate it along with <laughs> just like how I like it. So yeah, Kagasama is a fantastic show. You know, it has everything. But um, yeah, I I I I love it. But like Torado is a bit higher than it. Than it you know like Kagasama. Again, a lot of people will be disappointed with this. But yeah, this is my you know like whole thing. So I'm going to put it at not the bottom, but at, 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 like after Torado. Yeah, this is probably a lot of people will not be happy with this, but you know, just this is just my like you know thing. And uh, Kaguya Sama, I'm pretty sure everyone has watched Kaguya Sama at this point. Anyone who watches anime and watches Slice of Life definitely have watched Kaguya Sama. Uh, it's a really good show, obviously. Like uh, it had, I think, three, four seasons almost. And I haven't really watched the latest one. You know, the one which had like five episodes or something. I thought about reacting to it, and I never got the time to it. And like came out in a, such a weird timing, I was pretty much packed, and I never got the time to do it. I am going to react to it though, I think like a new season has been announced, just before like the new season like goes out, I'll like kind of um, arrange a few days, and react to the five episodes that has come out, and then I'm going to go to the newest season when it comes out. I, I plan on doing it like that, uh, since I never got the time to react to it. Anyways, uh, uh, like scratch that, uh, yeah, uh, Kaguya Sama is just, you know, like it is, one of the I, I remember Kaguya Sama actually I think like the the season where uh, they actually confess and everything you know like Shirogan and I remember that actually blowing up everything completely just like like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was at the top I remember for so many years and this was like after a very long while like it got down Kaguya Sama like you know like dethroned it. But then again, like you know, it kind of came down again Kaguya Sama. But that was crazy you know like like it was one of the best things. And, uh, you know, like, that season, it was just fantastic. And it's still ongoing, obviously, you know, and I'm very excited to see where it goes. Uh, looking forward to the upcoming seasons. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a like, I, I would have to say, I'll have to, I can, if I do a comedy tier list, I might have to put Kaga there as well. Because Kaga Sama, like, is, like, slice of life, comedy, it has everything, you know. Like, and the comedy is top-notch comedy. Like, there was, like, so many episodes, I just, like, burst out into laughing so bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, the next one, Horimiya. Okay, Horimiya, I haven't really watched it. Like, I watched the first season, which I realized that they kind of like, the kind of like, just gave like a few, like, in a very weird way, they kind of adapted the anime. Now we're getting Horimiya pieces, I think, which gets, tells the story in a better way. I, I remember starting to react to it as well, but really didn't like, you know, like, I, I feel like I've, I've had to like stop it, stop reacting to it because of lack of time or something. And then I, I just, you know, like, didn't watch it at all. So I'm going to put it here. I haven't watched it, you know, because, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've heard it's quite good, you know. I've heard the manga is really good, but I remember a lot of people not being happy about the adaptation, the first season at least, and everyone was like, what the hell is this? Why did they adapt it like this in a weird way? Like, just, like, skipping half of the things. Even though, like, even if it, it was done like that, it was still highly rated because it was so beloved by everyone. So, who knows, maybe I'll watch it in the future. You know, like, on my own. No, I'll probably not react to it, but I'll probably watch it on my own. Um, yeah, but for now, I'm going to put it over there because I have no idea. All right, uh, next one is Anohi Mitahana no... Oh, this one, uh, Anohana, yeah. 
Anohana. Okay, Anohana is really good. I'm gonna put it at the top for now, but I'm gonna put it over here because Anohana. It's a it's a show. It's a it's a pretty. I won't call it old, but it's a it's a show that came out quite a while ago. And uh, yeah, this I feel like this qualifies as drama as well. Again, I'm gonna make a drama tier list in the future. So I'm going to put these over there as well. I feel like some shoujo animes have also come. Like like I said, like shoujo drama and slice of life, they're kind of interconnected. So unless and until you kind of add them, it's, you know, like kind of, you cannot really uh, do anything. So yeah, I'm going to put it over there. And Anohana is emotionally just, you know, again, one of those top emotional shows that like, you know, completely breaks you. Like, um, like Clanad, Anohana, uh, Shigatsu wa Kimi no so you know all these shows just you know it's just yeah and uh, it's a it's a short show 12 episodes I think as far as I can remember but in those 12 episodes it can it, it did it, it, it really changed like it was able to provide us with something crazy and it's still beloved up until the day and if you haven't watched again like you know some new anime watchers might not have watched this if you haven't watched it and you don't mind crying <laughs> you know, give it a go it, it, it's very good um, yeah. Alright, next one. Uh, Devil is a Part-Timer. Oh my god, this, uh, this show has a weird type of a, like a, you know, like a thing for me. I don't know where to put it. I'm gonna put it for here up for now. Like, the reason why I put it there, okay, first of all, I feel like this could go, like, I think like I included this in the, did I include this in the Isekai genre tier list? I don't remember. But I don't think I included this. And this probably wasn't there up on the top 50. And either way, this is a reverse isekai, and uh, also it has a lot of slice of life elements. That's why I decided to keep it here as well. And uh, um, uh, okay, one thing I forgot to mention: uh, Violet Evergarden was here, you know, in the tier list. I kind of excluded it because I don't think you can put Violet Evergarden in slice of life genre. It's more of a drama genre. Right? The drama is more there. I don't really think you can put it in a slice of life. It has slice of life elements, but that's why I excluded that. I'm going to put it in a drama genre in the future. Uh, but okay, uh, now that is out of the way. Uh, yeah, um, Devil is a part-timer, like I said. It has quite a bit of slice of life elements. That's why I decided to include this here. But why I put it over here is that like Devil is a part-timer was one of my beloved shows. I loved it and I've always wanted a season two, you know. However, um, like... I, after not getting a season 2 for so long, I decided to start the manga and I was reading the manga, I was enjoying myself a lot and then I got spoiled about a thing, a certain thing, I'm not going to mention what, in the end, if, especially the ending, which I didn't really like, you know, I was kind of, I don't know, like, I didn't like the way it went and by reading people what they talk, like, you know, what they thought about the ending and how they talked about how the manga will go from here onwards, I, I actually wasn't really, like, I'm, I'm not going to say anything, in, like, you know, it's, it's full-on spoiler, uh, it is. So, that is why I really, like, just got very, I guess you could say, like, I didn't like it. And I just, my, my interest went down completely. And then, season 2 came out, I remember, like, starting to react to it as well. And I was like, alright, let me still watch it. But then, the animation was just, I cannot, I, you know, like, season 2... The, the, the comedy and everything was still there. I feel like the comedy was a little bit dialed down than season 1. Season 1 was hilarious. And season 2 I didn't really start, I, I wasn't really feeling it. Like, like I said, uh, my interest already went down. And then um, there was the like, animation, like it, the animation was just bad. Not only that, the, the comedy I feel like it was also a little bit lower than season 1. And I just, I wasn't really like, you know, feeling it. So I, I stopped reacting to it as well. And I haven't, I haven't really watched it from here onward. So it's kind of like, just because of that reason, I'm, I'm going to put it a little bit down. Because I know what's going to happen. I'm not really like, I didn't really like the way it went. Uh, that's why this is, again, my personal bias. And that's why I'm just here. You, you know, if you, if you want to watch it, you probably might like it. The first season was really good. You know, and I think like, even if you don't watch the upcoming seasons, you definitely watch season one. Season 1 is like one of the top shows. I just love Hataraku Mao-sama season 1. It was, it had everything. And then season 2 came out and I didn't really feel that same feeling that season 1 gave me. And I also know what's going to happen, so that as well. I'm going to put it here for now at least. You know, 
it's probably going to go down more down all right uh next one oregairu oh god here we go top all right oregairu goes to the top uh or the full name is my teen romantic romantic comedy snafu and yeah um oh boy this is a show if you haven't watched it you should definitely do so like oh my god like this is a show that i was i didn't really expect what where like i didn't really expect much when season 1 came out i was like all right this is kind of cool you know a good like a good show like you know hachiman the main character is kind of interesting more interesting than the other slice of life main protagonists i've seen you know the girls are really good they're very interesting you know like especially i i really loved uh, yukunosta yukunosta was like the character i was just rooting for up until the end and yeah that act wait was this no i don't think this comes into spoilers it has come out so long ago <laughs> i'm pretty sure everyone has watched it by that time uh and yeah so oh boy i think i spoiled it for a few people i'll i'll, I'll put a spoiler tag on the t- <laughs> on the title oh god uh but yeah um so it, it was just it was just great and i oh yeah what was i saying um season 1 i wasn't really didn't really know where this is going to go season 2 came out and then season 3 came out and i realized this is a show that is a gem like it it has a it has a such an interesting charm and i usually in slice of life you kind of like you know like you know in these type of love triangle situations and you kind of just root for a certain character and don't root for the other one um i was kind of like really like surprised to see that i was i actually like everyone in this show all the cast every every single character i liked the main two girls i liked both of them even though i kind of prefer you know a bit more but you know and not only that the fact that the two girls were actually such a good, so good friends and it it was like a weird i i don't know i've never seen any slice of life like this you know usually the the, the main girls are like kind of like at each other's throats or what not you know like <laughs> in love triangle situations most of the time they're not really good friends yukunosta and yuigahama's relationship was one of the best things i've seen like you know like because it shows how even though they liked the same person they were such good friends and i i just i i love that you know it it was something i i never expected in any like in any type of show to see something like that you know and uh, like every like relation and and i feel like the the main theme of the show is interpersonal relationship which hachiman uh, kind of um like has difficulty and uh, there were so many things that this show like did in such a superb way there was that one part i remember where hachiman has like a a uh, way of trying to sacrifice himself to help his friends even though but the fact that he, he never realized is that he sacrificing himself for his friends hurt his friends as well he just thought that everything will be fine if i go under the bus it doesn't matter you know at least they'll be fine but they are not fine and him little by little realizing that and realizing how you should interact with others and everything like he was a, he was a very i guess you could say what was what's that word nihilistic i think i think that's the word a nihilistic type of character who looked at the world in a very interesting way but you know like he like as he says according to hachiman he wanted something genuine and that is like the main theme of the show and it's just it's it's beautiful the three seasons is just it, it was a ride for me i'm i'm so like frustrated that i wasn't able to react to it because i've already watched it by the time i started youtube like this would have been a such a great show to react to and just discuss about each and every episode and giving my opinion on the way they look at the world and how i kind of see like like hachiman and the, these two, two were like the one of the best characters and i i rate this show so highly it's just Yeah like you know what I've been talking about this for 5 freaking minutes I'm going to stop now because I have to <laughs> read the other shows as well <laughs> So yeah just just watch it if you haven't you know it's a it's a very interesting one you know it is going to make you feel stuff that you've probably never felt from watching a slice of life shows so <laughs> at least that was the case for me and uh, yeah anyways um right and there we go that was that's in the top for now I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of like 
not happy that this is so low in the rating. Uh, but anyways, um, in in uh, like, you know, any list, like this probably shows that how this show is kind of it is not really that low, but still shows how underrated this show is. Just I feel like this probably would have been at the top, should have been at the top at least in the size of life genre. Anyway, uh, Ho Yoka. Alright, Yoka is a show I've watched a long time ago. I don't really remember much, but I do remember it was like an interesting show about I think like these two classmates and the main character I remember was extremely like in intelligent I think as far as I can remember and he's like he was like a kind of a mini detective kind of like you know kind of uh, br not like you know like did like solve some mysteries and stuff and it was very entertaining and the, the main girl Chitanda I think I still remember her name her whole catchphrase I'm pretty sure we've seen it in memes and stuff like Kini Narimas you know <laughs> I'm interested and the way her eyes sparkle and oh boy the animation ooh good god <laughs> Animation was something. This is this is from Kyohani, isn't it? I think so. Uh, that's why. Like, good my my god. Like, it's just, animation was just something to look at. And uh, yeah, Yoka is quite good. You know, it, it's a short show. Uh, I'm gonna put it at the bottom for now. Um, but yeah, like you know, for a short show, and if you just want to watch a few uh, episodes with a high school kid like solving mysteries and stuff, uh, you know, it's it's good. It's not like really murder mysteries or anything like yeah don't don't get, don't think it's something like that. It's just small little mysteries like urban legends and like you know like stuff here and there like you know those type of stuff. Very very you know like normal stuff. Right. Alright, the next one, Junibyo, Demo Koigashitai. Oh, this one. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. This this is another show I is that is so near and dear to my heart. I'm going to put it above Anohana. Anohana. And, uh, oh yes, I think it has like three seasons or something, I don't remember. It's been so long I've watched it. I, I, bro, I don't really remember much about the show in itself, but I remember having a great time watching it. And the upcoming, like, you know, the, the, the latest, later seasons, actually, it, it also really delves deep into the relationships of the two characters. Because the first few seasons, it was more like, oh, they're just hanging out and they're saying, yeah. But then, then stuff changes, you know, like, the relationship actually progresses by the end of it. And uh, yeah, it, it was one of the cutest show, you know, like the main girl is just so cute. I, what was her name? Um, Rika, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, Ta Takanashi Rika something, or maybe I'm making a mistake, I don't know. Something like that, I think. Oh uh, yeah, she's like, it's just, it's just such a cute show. Like, like if, if you just want to smile and like, and it's like a, <laughs> just, just a very sweet, it's, it's a very sweet show. Like, you know, so yeah. Again, uh, probably new anime watchers probably haven't watched this. So yeah, if you want to, you, you can. It's it's very it's good. It's really good. I think it has a movie as well. I think yeah. All right, the next one is Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Oh, where should I put this? I'm gonna put this below Anohana but above Hyoka. And uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more will fit here. Right, I'm, I put Kobayashi before Hyoka, and uh, Kobayashi is a new show, you know, like, I'm pretty sure most people know about it, and it's just, you know, like, a dragon, <laughs> like, being a maid, and not a maid, but like, you know, kind of like, you know, living with Kobayashi and just, you know, like, helping her out and stuff, because she loves her, and it was just, uh, like, you know, like, it, it's also very cute, you know, like, good God, like, Kobayashi took the, took the anime community by storm, Especially Kanna. <laughs> Kanna was just a blob of just happiness. Like so like it's just I just love the show. And it's yeah, it's a size of life, it's really it's it also has like a lot of I guess you could say fantasy elements to it as well, but mainly it is slice of life. So I've decided to put it here. And uh, yeah, Kobashi's Dragon Mate definitely deserves that spot. I'm gonna put it there. Ooh, psycho uh Psyche Kuso no Sainan. Oh, this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this very high. I'm gonna put it... Ooh, will I put it before? I have to put it before uh, Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso. Because I, I reacted to this. It has like three seasons, I think. And, oh god, this show is just... Uh, it, it's top-notch comedy, and it has such an interesting plot. And I, I loved watching, like, Psyche, even though it seems he is, like, really good at everything and he doesn't need any development. I loved watching him develop throughout the whole season. The first episode, he was just completely just stoic, didn't really want to interact with anyone and just 
and then in the ending the final episode i was like good god that is character development you know like he changes so much and it was it was a joy to see him change throughout the whole episode just interacting with people and friends and uh, and like i said the comedy is also really good so it's it's the, oh <laughs> and the and the fourth wall breaking and the parody good god like gintama level completely just you know like it's just just like beautiful and uh, yeah i'm i'm rating it very high that is why you know like a psychic show is just perfect it's it's one of the best shows and um if you haven't watched it you should definitely do so so there you go i'm going to put it over there all right the next one is tenku no ko okay this show i have to say hmm, i i didn't really it was okay you know makoto shinkai uh, like you know film and uh, i've watched your name and uh, you know like all the other like you know shows but tenku no ko i don't really know like it was okay but i didn't really like it as much as the other you know like movies by him like i'm going to put it low for now for now at least and i you know what the latest one what is the latest one i think it was called oh what was the name you know the the one that recently came out i forgot the name i haven't really watched it still now you know i'm i i should probably like you know react to it as a movie or a reaction or something i haven't watched it still i was planning on reacting to it but then i didn't really have time again like if i'm reacting to a movie i used to do it but now i don't barely get enough time so i like doing a movie reaction it takes a lot of time and a lot of like you know like you know like just waiting like watching this for 2 hours and everything so i thought about reacting to it but i haven't and uh, you know like i i still haven't watched it i'll probably react to it in the future but tenki no ko um i actually watched it in the theaters you know like that's why i didn't react to it um i watched it in the theaters i went with my friend you know like one of the f- like first few shows that came in india in cinemas and uh, i i watch it i i i kind of like my rating for thank you no ko was probably like a 7 out of 10 which is kind of like you know like because the other shows i i really loved you know like like it was like 9 out of 10 and everything uh, your name is also makoto shinkai film isn't it movie isn't it i think so yeah um so you know all those shows were like a 9 9.5 for me however i thank you no ko was good but it really didn't i don't know like you know yeah So I'm going to put it there for now. You know what? No, not below Bhadraku Mausa. I'm going to put it before. Yeah, there you go. That's better. So, right. All right. Kim no uh Kim no Suzo tabeta. I I want to eat your pancreas. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so that would mean this is going to come down. Yeah, over here. Um I think I reacted to this. Yeah, I I reacted to this. and uh, oh boy this is another emotional roller coaster and it's a show that you know and expect how it's going to end and that's exactly how it ends and you still are not ready for it and it's just i uh, you know heartbreaking and just you know like and and what can i say like it's such a painful like you know experience like realizing what's going to happen throughout the show from the beginning of the uh, sh- like you know like movie you know what to expect and you know what's going to happen in the end and still watching it and then just you know everything going exactly how you thought it would and that's how it goes and you know that that was going to happen but you still watched it and now you're emotionally devastated that is basically this show so if you're not really comfortable with these type of like you know like shows where it's pain and pain you know uh, yeah you you probably would <laughs> like to avoid this but If you're okay with these type of shows, definitely watch this. It's it's good. It's really good. And it has so much you know, emotionally like you know charging moments and it has like a very good message at the end as well as far as I can remember. So yeah. Yeah, so there it is over there. Wait, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Next is Wotaku ni koi wo Wait, wait. What was the uh, Wotaku? Yeah, Wotaku Wotaku. That was the short form. Okay, I'm going to put Wotaku i Okay um over here before Hyoka but I cannot really put it over here because this list is crazy good. Wotakoi was good, you know, but one season only. I I would love more, you know. And but the one season that we had, it was really good. It is a has a adult cast, cast, you know, no high schoolers, no middle schoolers screeching and screaming and just, you know, like doing unnecessary drama. <laughs> I know a few people don't like those stuff. So yeah, Wotakoi is just, you know, like an adult 
you know, like office workers, that, you know, whole thing. And the main character, as far as I can remember, is like an otaku or something like that. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, oh, there's like two, two couples, as far as I can remember, two, two different, like, you know, like couples, which is also kind of interesting because, you know, like not only the main cast, but you also see the other cast, you know, doing their own relationship, like, you know, increasing and moving forward in their relationship as well. So yeah, there you go. Right, the next one, um, Dress Up Darling, all right, oh, Dress Up Darling took the, the anime world by storm, I'm going to put it, okay, be, after Kobayashi, but okay, so this is going to come down, after Kobayashi, yeah, just after Kobayashi, I'm going to put it, uh, because yeah, I cannot, yeah, in no way can Dress Up Darling go before all of these. Dress Up Darling, I don't know how it's going to go from here onwards, but the first season, I liked it. You know, it has a, like, you know, like, uh, one of the, I guess you could say, what can I say? Like, the, the show, like, the animation was gorgeous, and the fact that, I feel like she's, like, the first character, you know, like, uh, Marine, I think, yeah, that's her name, who, like, you know, who's, like, a, I wouldn't call her a Gyaru, but she's she has like she's like you know kind of like that. I feel like she's the one of the only shows who has like a main Gyaru character, which took the anime world by s such a storm. And like the main reason is obviously I feel like like the her liking cosplaying and with her like that making so many like you know like cosplay like you know Gojo makes so many like you know different dresses and she wears them and like you know and while the, all of that is happening the relationship moves forward that kind of thing so you know what's funny <laughs> i read the manga and i was like damn the manga is quite good the art style i really liked it as well and i remember talking about um uh, dress up darling in my other videos as well when it was just in manga format it didn't get an anime adaptation and i was like oh this is quite good in the shows that i in, in the you know videos that i kind of talk about the upcoming shows I also talked about it and I was like, yeah, you know what, this show, I've read the manga, it's quite good, I'm going to react to it. I, in no, like, <laughs> not even in any dream did I imagine this show is going to blow up this big. It was huge. Like, good God, like, the way it, like, like, oh my God, I, I was baffled to see how, like, how popular it was. And I was like, damn, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Like a manga that I read and I enjoyed and nobody knew about it and that became like this big. <laughs> so it was an interesting uh, experience, you know, like seeing it grow this big. Uh, but yeah, overall, yes, yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. And I like it. Um, the cosplaying and everything, not only that, the whole, um, you know, like Gojo making like, a, like, you know, dresses, which is like something new, I guess, for anime. Like we haven't really seen a character like this before who like makes dresses and the girls like, you know, cosplays it. Or have we? I don't know. Or maybe there is, and I just don't know about it. But yeah, like overall, it was good, and I feel like the animation being that good was also another reason for it blowing up so so big. And it was just you know, oh, and the voice acting, oof, the voice acting. I I think like the main like mine's voice actor. I think I think she she did both the dub and the sub, didn't she? I think so. Yeah, which is kind of crazy because I have never seen anything like that before. And I think she's a very new um voice actor but the voice acting was so good it was just yeah it's just very good okay next one fruits basket okay fruits basket i haven't watched it yeah i've heard it's very good i haven't watched it i i might actually do a reaction of it in the future not now though you know when i get enough more time so yeah i'm gonna put it there for now okay next one clanad yes clanad you this this show yes Okay, this is going to go high up. Oh boy, oh boy, where should I put this? Ah, uh, yes, over there. Yeah. Hi, I rated it high because Clanad was an experience for me and it was one of my first animes that I've watched. So Clanad was basically, I've heard a lot of people not like Clanad, but Clanad After Story was amazing. Everyone praised it so high. I don't really understand the reason for people not liking Clanad the first season. It had so many emotionally, like so many, so much emotional moments there as well. But I feel like the way they kind of did it, because you know, like different routes, it's it's a visual novel actually. 
that's why the first uh, like you know season they tried to adapt it as faithfully as possible but you know visual novels they go in like one route different route in anime format it's pretty difficult to like you know reproduce that but they tried their best actually like you know like visual novel adaptations in anime are actually usually atrocious garbage adaptations please like you know visual novel adaptations people do except a few exceptions there are a few exceptions you know but Clarence was able to nail it perfectly i feel like uh, and, I, and i guess because of that the whole like you know like that first season people really didn't like it or didn't really like it as much as after story but after story was amazing oh boy it, it is just one after the other good god it makes you happy it makes you sad makes you happy makes you sad it just goes on and on and oh good god i i i just clanad is one of my absolute favorites i've i've read i've watched the anime i've played the visual novel i've done everything so yeah like it is there on the top okay gotobu no hanayomi now i've only watched the first season of this and i don't know what to do whether i should watch the second season or not because okay i'm going to put it here for now no over here i don't know what to do because i feel like like this again this is the the formula of of um rent a girlfriend the whole formula of one guy and so many girls and that just you know like like this show uh, rent a girlfriend and there's so many other shows like what's the other show uh, kanojo mo kanojo i think there's another show like that like same same formula you know um there's another show with the whole uh, what is that boku wa benkyo wo dekinai i think that was the name uh, there's like a kid who tutors the other like you know like kids and it's like a harem harem show but like the reason why i haven't still watched season 2 is like i don't really ex- i don't know what to expect from this like the first season was quite good but then i don't know like you know what what really like makes me i don't know not like this type of shows is the whole weird drama for the main character like either the main character is dumb as hell or the main character is just just you know like dense dense like a brick or like he doesn't really understand anything up until 10 seasons that is the thing that actually like if this actual development i would want to watch it i love i, I like harem shows but i i feel like like nowadays like harem shows are like, like this i just you know i i'm not going to talk about this because i haven't watched it so not this rent a girlfriend i'm going to bring like like rent a girlfriend like the the harem shows are more like that like it's like a separate genre completely even within the harem where the main character is just unlikable as hell you know again i'm not talking about gotobu no hanayome because i haven't watched it i've watched the first season only um but rent a girlfriend i know where, where, which direction it goes and i've seen the first season and the first season was enough to tell me which direction it was going to go so i just i don't like that whole thing ham shows are fine like you no know, drama is okay if but if the main character is so unlikable i just cannot you know like like rent a girlfriend what ha- what does the main character have does he have anything special nothing he's literally like just just an just an idiot and i i just i cannot i i i like i don't like it you know the main character should have character development like back in the days with the harems that i watched the main characters had development you know or at least he wasn't as unlikable as rent a girl girlfriend's like you know main character and i i'm 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 really hating on rent a girlfriend but because i know i know where it goes and how it goes i i know spoilers of the show so i i know where where it goes and i'm not really happy about the direction it's taking so So yeah like I've seen like so many ham shows like you know like back in the days like it, it, it was good you know like not main characters like this never existed so I I I I I'm getting the same vibes from this one but I don't think it is like Rent a Girlfriend so you guys can like you know like let me know about it because I feel like I've seen the first season for Gotobu no Hana and it was quite good you know the main character was okay I didn't really like like didn't really hate him like or didn't really like him at all or as well I was pretty neutral on him. So yeah, I I don't know what to expect from this. For this just for the first season I'm going to put it there because I enjoyed the first season. Okay. Um Komisan. Oh, Komisan is going to go a little bit higher. Ah, oh, where should I put it? 
I'm gonna put it here. Okay, under the, uh, like, you know, like, oh no, but, uh, no, you know what? No, before. Yeah, there, yeah, that's good. So, Komisan is over there. Um, okay, so this is a show which was like, had, didn't have an anime for so long. And then when it, when it came, it was like a whole meme that Komisan's never going to get an anime. <laughs> but then it came out, and yeah, the animation, the anime adaptation was really good. And but thing about Komisan is it's just it's just a school life like you know like 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 slice of school slice of life you know like show where the main character you know like Dadano I think that was her name she he gets close to Komi and they kind of become friends and their relationship progress just like that nothing really unique or special about it you know I know this show is beloved by everyone but according to my opinion it's a very feel feel good show. And that is it, you know, it has the same formula as all the other shows I've seen. You know, I have seen so many shows like this so many times before. And because of that, probably, yeah. So I feel like Komisan is very good for newcomers. If you're a newcomer into anime, haven't really watched that many Slice of Life, you love this. You know? But for me, who watched so many Slice of Life shows, so many animes for like 10 years, this is pretty normal for me. And I'm like, oh, it's a good show. That is just it. You know, nothing extra special. All the show up on top in this first like you know in the one to ten like you know things they are also like that but they have something unique and special to them Komi-san I wasn't really able to find anything like that but it's barely starting there's a lot to cover so who knows maybe I'll find it in the upcoming seasons but now I'm gonna put it over there all right the next one Sakura Sona Pet no Kanujo Ooh, this has a this the ending was really I, I don't know I've heard that uh, it's good it's a really good show but I, I have to put it over here because as, as far as I can remember, I, the ending was kind of just there, you know, like it was just, oh, okay, like just very abrupt in a really weird way they kind of ended it. I don't know how the manga or I don't know like how the source material goes. I don't even know if this has a manga or not, maybe light novel, I have no idea. But, you know, like it was a really good show throughout the whole thing. But then the ending, I, I don't know, I, I didn't like the ending. The way it kind of just abruptly ended without any proper conclusion, just you know, like, oh, like you know, like it's fine, like you know, like that kind. Of, I don't know, like it's just yeah. And I remember there was a character over there who everyone loved, but then obviously the main character wins, and a lot of people weren't really happy about that. Uh, but for me, I I just I didn't really like the way it ended. It, if it had a better ending, I probably would have given it a a boost up. I don't know. It, it just felt un- incomplete in my opinion. Either way, um, yeah, it's, it's good. Again, you know, like it's a pretty old, I wouldn't call it old, but it's a show. It came out quite a years ago. So, yeah. All right, the next one is Keon. Ooh, Keon. Yeah, Keon's going to go up high up. Oh, Keon is everything a slice of life needs. <laughs> I'm going to put Keon. Oh. You know what? Based on the tier list, which is slice of life, Keon radi- radiates huge uh, slice of life energy. I'm going to put, up, put it up in the three, third point. Yeah, this is a slice of life tier list. You know, So based on slice of life energy, Keon wins by a landslide. This show is the definition of slice, slice of life. <laughs> Even though like you know these two like these two are my personal favorites. That's why I've put them at the top But K1 slice of life energy max. I'm still watching it. I'm reacting to it still But it has been one of my most favorite like you know like anime reaction I, I just love seeing these characters just do whatever the hell they do <laughs> throughout the episode <laughs> And it has really good music as well. I love I like you know, I think I explained this in my anime reactions, but I used to listen to K1 music even when when I was like uh, you know like well, ten years ago, like it was, used to come out on the television. I used to go to my grandpa my parents' house. Uh, the anime channel used to come over there, and I used to record the sh- songs using a freaking like those mobile phones, those, those thing you know, which only has a recording for function. Those ones <laughs> back in the days, and I used to listen to them. I loved their songs so much, even though I didn't watch the anime then. I, I think I watched one or two episodes. I I just listened to the songs. And so Keon, like it, it is like it has a special place in my heart. I've, 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 like you know, I, 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 I started liking anime songs after listening to Keon songs. Like Keon songs was the 
songs that they did, the opening and the ending, were the songs that got me into anime music. So yeah, Keon is is just great. And now that I'm finally watching it, oh, it's it's beautiful. You know, peak slice of life. <laughs> so over there. Okay, Nisekoi. Okay, here's the thing. Now this I'm gonna compare Nisekoi with freaking Rent a Girlfriend. You know, um, I'm gonna put Nisekoi over here. Like, this is what I was saying, you know, I remember, I, I remember watching Nitsakoi, and, you know, the main character is likable, at least. I think his name was Raku, as far as I can remember. This was what harems were, back in the day. Not rent a girlfriend, well, what the hell is that? You know, you, you, you can see, like, I, I just hate, like, I, I know what happens in the manga, and that is why I'm, I'm just, like, really, like, just fed up with this, the whole thing. I, I never, I watched the first season, and I just gave up on the whole show. I know, like, it, it gets better in, like, a certain arc. A lot of people have told me that. But that doesn't mean that the show is good. A certain arc, like, w what will I do with that certain arc? If uh, after that arc, everything goes to the same, you know, like, brain-dead territory. So, no. This was what harems were, you know. And Nitsukoi isn't e even really a good show. It's, it's very, like, you know, normal, moderate, you know. Maybe a little bit better than the other average shows, you know. But still, the main characters were at least likable. You know, I liked Raku. I didn't really like love him or anything, but I really, I, I kind of liked him. As a character, he was, he was good. You know, he was dense, obviously dense as a brick, but still, he was a likable character. And uh, the main characters were also good. And I remember watching Nisekoi and there was that whole war, Nisekoi war of which girl is going to win. <laughs> there was the Onodera faction and there was the, um, uh, what was her name? Um, Chitoge, yeah, Chitoge faction. And I was in the Chitoge faction and I won. By the end of it, I know I've read the manga, <laughs> but yeah, like it was just uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a typical harem show, you know. Like it's, but at least the main character is likable, you know, or at least I liked him more than the characters nowadays. Like that, just just brain dead characters, the main characters that we have nowadays. Oh god. Okay, so yeah, Nisako is going to go over there. Right. Next one is Izira Naide Nagatoro-san. Okay, a little bit. No, wait. Oh, no, wait, I, I skipped one. Um, wait, did I put it two times? Oh, my God. <laughs> I put it two times. I'm sorry. Oh, boy, that would mean that there's one less anime over here. Ah, God damn it. 49 animes. I, I put it two times. This is, this is, um, Oregairu season two. I'm going to put it at the end for now. <laughs> yeah. That was my mistake. I put the se second season here as well. As you can see, I, I put only one, only the show. The second seasons are also here, but I didn't put them. So uh, that was my mistake. So this is not really a 50 anime, like, you know, like tier list. It's a 49 anime tier list. All right, whatever. So that was my mistake. All right. Uh, yeah, Ijin and I and Agathon san. Okay, I'm going to put this. Okay, this is going to go high up. Not that high up, but it is going to go a bit high up. Uh, because it's my... Oh, God. Alright, you know what? I cannot put it above Anohana. Uh, but I am going to put it above Kobayashi. Because it's my personal favorite. You know, Nagataro. I, I just love... I, I love the main character so much. You know, and the way they... The, their relationship is progressing. And the way it seemed how the anime is going to go. But, and, but versus the way it's going. It's beautiful. You know, like, this is, this is like, just, like, it, it, it starts with <laughs> everyone hating Nagato and now, like, you know, as we have gone further into the story, you know, everyone just loves her. And, yeah, it's, it's a very good development, you know, I, I really like it. And not only she improves, but the main character, Senpai, also improves, which is very important for shows, for both the characters to have improvement and development. And, yeah, it's just, it's just really good. Uh, if you, if you... <laughs> Like, the first few episodes, if you haven't watched Naruto, if you watch it, first few episodes will probably make you like, what the hell, why do people like this? But then you'll understand little by little why people like this. So yeah, over there. Alright, Tonari no Totoro. Now, this was there high up, so I had to add this. Um, obviously a Ghibli movie. Um, so, I said maybe in the future I'll do a Ghibli movie tier list, that'll be good. You know. Uh, so, I'm gonna put it here, in the middle, kind of, you know, like... Because over here, 
because first of all it's a movie you know obviously it cannot really compare with animes because anime has so many episodes and at the same time you know, even though it's a movie it's still high up because it's a ghibli movie and ghibli movies all of them are good it's just beautiful you know, Tonari no Totoro was just amazing. I, I recent, I, not recently, but a few years ago, I watched it. I did a whole Ghibli movie uh, marathon reaction every week. I used to do it, I remember. And I watched most of the Ghibli movies. There's a recent one that's coming. I think like it's called The Boy and the Heron. And I really want to react to it when it comes out. Um, and uh, yeah, so it, it's just there. You know, I'm going to make a Ghibli movie tier list maybe in the future i don't really remember much of the ghibli movies like i've watched them but this is the thing like i said like you know animes i can remember for a few months but movies since it's like two hours it just happens and at that point i really enjoy it but then after a few months i kind of gradually forget it so most of the ghibli movies that i've watched there's a few ones that are just there ingrained in my brain i love them so much but a few of them i've kind of forgotten so it'll be a bit difficult to do the ghibli movie tier list but we'll see anyways so yeah, Tonari no Totoro is over there. Uh, it's, a, it's a great show, you know, it's a Ghibli movie. I'm pretty sure everyone, most of the people have watched it. Or if you haven't, you should definitely. Right, okay, now here's the thing. Another one I kind of excluded from here, that is Beastars was here. I don't think I can put Beastars in a slice of life tier list. In no way is that possible. So <laughs> other anime tier list, I'll put it over. All right, the next one, uh, Tonari no, uh, tonari no Kaibutsu, Kaibutsukun. This is a show which I watched when I started anime. I remember nothing about it. Nothing. I just remember a few things about the show. I'm going to put it in the I don't remember here. I just remember a few things in the show, in the anime that I've watched when I watched it. I remember, which was kind of like ingrained in my brain. I remember the girl, I think, liking the guy at first, was it? And the guy didn't like the girl. And then the guy started liking the girl. And the girl actually fell off <laughs> from her love for the guy. And now the guy liked the girl and the guy the girl didn't like the guy. And then again the girl starts liking the guy. Like it was weird. Like I, that's, I, that's the only thing I can remember about it. I feel like it, it goes in a different way. Like I was new to anime. I didn't know what to expect then. And I don't remember much. I don't even remember if my memory is correct or not. But I vaguely remember something like that happened. Uh, but it was still entertaining. I liked it. That's all I remember. Uh, but I'm going to put it there because I barely remember anything over, you know. Plastic Memories. Oh, ah, this one. Yes, it's a, it's a good show, you know. Um, not as good as Anohana or the others. I would say emotionally. I'm talking about the emotional factor. But it's still good, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a very emotionally, you know, those type of shows like Anohana, Klanat, Shigatsu wa Kimi no Usu. You know what, you could probably compare this better with, uh, like, you know, like, you lie in April. You know, has a kind of like the same, like, you know, thing to it. And uh, Plastic Memories, again, yeah, it's kind of like you lie in April, like, build up a relationship and then everything just destroys, gets destroyed. Uh, yeah, it's very emotionally depressing, but it was a good show. It had a lot of important lessons. I remember it has like a, I think like an Android, like a futuristic theme, you know, as far as I can remember. So yeah, it's good, you know. Right. Or on, uh, or on uh, High School Host Club. I haven't watched this. I'm going to put it there. I've, I've heard this is really good. It's like one of the top animes, but I still haven't watched it. So, okay. Next, Garden of Words, I think, or Kotohana, no, Kotonoha no Niwa. Something like that, I think. I still haven't watched this one as well. Uh, and maybe in the future I'll react. It's a movie, isn't it? Yeah, I'll react to it. All right. Okay, so here from here onwards, there's a few shows that I haven't watched. This one, five centimeters. Uh, Bio Soku five centimeter. I haven't watched it. Again, um, I think this is also a movie, or is it like OVA or something? I don't remember. I haven't watched it. Hmm. Real life. Right, so, so for real life, I feel like real life was good, but uh, it was pretty average in my opinion. Like, you know, uh, it was quite good when I watched it, but now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's just pretty average. It's a good show, you know, like, but nothing really stands out to me. It's just, it has an interesting, like, you know, theme to it, though. You know, very interesting um, plot, I would say, but, you know, like, what was that word? Very interesting... Um, storyline like the way it goes 
but it was pretty average in my opinion and uh, I th yeah I, I watched the whole thing I think I remember but I don't remember much though but yeah it, it was good it was good you know higher than average we won't call it ab excuse me we won't call it average but higher than average so there you go how how to write I haven't watched it again these are the shows I still haven't watched okay uh, get control your nozaki kun oh yes this one's an interesting one I'm gonna put it high up it is quite good. This one's going to, I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, I think here is perfect. Um, <laughs> this is a funny show, you know. Um, <laughs> the, main, <laughs> the main characters are hilarious. I, I love, I, I, when I watched it, it was just so hilarious. And uh, it has multiple, I guess you could say, um, character, like couple kind of like you know, pairing. And which again, like, kind of makes it a bit more interesting. Like, you know, you're not only following one main character. Yes, there's definitely a main two couple. I can't really call them a couple though, because they aren't. But still. <laughs> and then there's the, you know, like the other ones, the other pairings. And yeah, it's 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 very entertaining. You know, if you want to laugh a lot, you, you should watch this. It's, it's very hilarious. I remember. Okay, Mahaskai no Yome. Oh, I I watched this first season. I'm going to watch the second season. I still haven't uh, because I've forgotten the first season a lot. Um, so I'm going to like kind of rewatch the first season quickly and then watch the second season on my own. Obviously, I'm not going to react to it. But I just yeah, so first season was really good. I'm going to put it high up. Uh, over here, I'm going to put it before Nisekoi. So this is going to come down. Here we go. Okay, Maskai no Yome is. It's visually gorgeous. It has a very interesting theme. You know, the main theme of the story is very interesting. It has magic, you know, and it has like, like, like a very good, like, you know, main characters, main cast. And I, like I said, I cannot really say much because I haven't still watched the second season. So I feel like my, I don't have much to talk about. But the first season was really good. I'm going to watch the second season and I, I wonder what, how it will be. You know, I still haven't watched it, like I said. Okay. Oh boy, Nichi Joe. Yes. Oh, this is gonna high up. Ooh. Again, laughter always above sadness. That's that's my motto. Always laughter is above sadness. So, but Clanad is still there. Clanad is special for me. That's why it's there. Um. So yeah, Nichi Joe. Yes. Oh. Um. Like I said, again, this is a comedy show, but it has so many slice of life themes. I had to put it here. So. Oh boy. Now, Nichi Joe. I feel like it won't be a cup of tea for a lot of people. The the comedy for Nichi Joe is pretty out there. It's it's a, a very interesting one, and I've heard a lot of people not like Nichi Joe at all, even though they watch it. I loved it, probably because there's a lot of things that you know if you don't have. Like, like, you know, like, like Gintama, it is. Like, you know, like a lot of like inside Japanese jokes they kind of put. A lot of fourth wall breaking and just complete randomness, you know. So I feel like a lot of people are not able to properly like understand this form of comedy. But if you like Gintama, I feel like you will like this, you know. Like, I think so. Because I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It is one of the best comedy shows. And, but the comedy is a bit difficult to understand sometimes. Not only that, it has a very good story as well. It has an actual coherent story that goes on. And uh, it's, it's very interesting. So that is why, again, like I said, based on my opinion, it's over here. But for a lot of other people in the tier list, it'll probably, it's probably down. Because, again, this type of comedy and a lot of people probably doesn't like. But I liked it. Uh, you know, so there you go. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... Like, Fly Me to the Moon or Tony Kaku Kawaii. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here for now. I haven't, okay, here we go. I haven't seen the second season. Still, I am going to. You know, I'm gonna put it over here. All that I'm doing this is basing on the first season. And I think this has immense potential. Currently, I'm rewatching the first season, you know, on my own. So I'm like in episode three or four or something. And uh, like, Season 2 I still haven't watched, so after re-watching this, I'm going to watch Season 2. So for now, as far as I can remember for the Season 1, and now that I'm watching it again, re-watching it again, 
yeah this show has huge potential and there's something about this show that i feel like a lot of things i'll understand after watching season 2 but season 1 had a lot of mysteries to it which was never really answered so i think a few of them gets answered in season 2 i don't know but we'll wait and see that's why i'm saying this is this probably has a lot of potential so i'm going to put it over there this will probably go up in the future after i finish watching season 2 so over there yeah Masamune Kunno Revenge. I had that. I have no idea what the hell happened in season one. I've forgotten everything, but it was very basic show. Okay, not bit below. No. Okay, okay, over here. Yeah. I. You know what? I'm since season two came out. I am going to watch it. I don't really remember anything of season one. <laughs> you know, I just remember a dude who was bullied. He gets like you know he goes to the gym and decides to like take revenge on the girls who like you know used to like who not bully I guess you could say but who turned him down and uh, he he has decided to like make the other girl fall for him and then turn her down or something like that I think I don't know <laughs> I don't know why they suddenly got a second season I was like what the hell what why like do people did people like the first season I I was pretty it was pretty average as far as my memory goes. So I don't know, like whatever, it, and it's so high up. I have no idea what they, why this is so high up. Anyways, okay, okay. So here we go. Sangatsu no Lion, immediate top, like no questions asked. March comes in like a oh god damn, come on. Here we go. Yeah, immediate top. It's. It is blasphemy to see Sangatsu no Lion so low in any list. As far as I can remember, in my anime list, Sangatsu no Lion is like the top three anime, and that is how it should be. Sangatsu no Lion should be the top two or three anime. In size of life genre, size Sangatsu no Lion should be the first one, always, even higher than Oregairu. This is a show that is phenomenal. It is about shogi. A people, a few people might be put off by that, but if you are able to, you know, like just go watch the show in itself. It's it's just you know yeah, and and then like little by little, the shogi, the the games in itself starts getting interesting. Even if you have no interest in shogi at the beginning, if you keep watching it, it'll get so interesting. Not only the shogi part, but there's so much more to the show than shogi. You know, like interpersonal relationships and just you know like. like getting out of a dark place to a better like you know place like getting hope you know like like and 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 a lot of things you know i'm i'm not going to say much but season 1 was good season 2 is amazing it is amazing and i like that's why i'm saying this being so low in any list even lower than masamune kun no revenge yeah masamune kun no revenge is above sanga suno line that is blasphemy This is I I was actually so shocked to see this so low in any list. Have people not watched this? Like I don't know. I feel like every like everyone who watches Slice of Life should definitely watch this one. I don't know. Like I I rate it extremely high up. This is, this will probably still stay like probably stay the first the top Slice of Life in my book for like months to go. And and the thing is Why are we not getting a season three? I think it has enough content for a season three. You know the manga. I think so. I this is the reason why I still haven't read the manga. I want to read the manga, but I am just waiting for the hope that we get a season two, uh, season three. Like so long, I have been waiting for. Where is season three? Why? Why? I don't know. As you can see, I'm I'm pretty pretty much. I'm 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 extremely attached to this show. Like this show, like just blew me away. Yeah, it's it's just going to stay there. Like this, I, I'm saying it. Oregaru and uh, Sangatsu Nine will be in the top two. Nothing can topple them. Like no other shows I've seen, at least for now up until now, can topple these two. You know, and uh, yeah, I I I rate it extremely high. Okay, Given. I haven't really watched Given, so I cannot really say. Um, Gotobu. No, wait. What? Kimi ni Todoke. Oh God, this show. I don't remember anything. I watched it when I started watching anime. 
I just remember the main girl's name. I think her name, name was Sabako or Sadako, something like that. Um, and people really like, <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> it's so funny seeing the old animes. Like you know, like I remember people saying, calling her. I think like like creepy or something like that. <laughs> She's probably the most beautiful character in the show. <laughs> and everyone calls her creepy and everything except the main character like this you know like this is the thing this is the show the formula you know back in the days at least you know <laughs> one of the most beautiful characters in the show the whole school the whole like you know like the the cast calls her creepy and what not main character only sees the but but if you look at the other characters she's probably the most beautiful character in the in the series and everyone calls her creepy i'm like what 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 logic is this <laughs> but you know what um <laughs> that was the that was the show the formula back in the days um i'm going to put it here uh, where should i put it over here it's quite good it's really good i i really enjoyed it uh, as far as i can remember it was quite long ago though uh, oh and i love the, the animation was really good as well back in the days oh the animation one of the best animation so kim ni todoke is quite good but like overall i don't really like the show the genre because of the whole excessive drama and the whole just dragging out the same thing for like 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 i don't know like 100 chapters in the manga um but i feel like this one had a lot less drama than i remember than the other shojo man anime said that's why i kind of liked it a bit more so yeah i i don't know nowadays but shojo man manga and anime back in the days were just i i don't know like so much drama unnecessary drama you know like i didn't really like that at all so i never really was a big fan of shoujo manga and anime except for a few there was a few for example kaito wa made sama was one of the best shoujo manga and anime i've, I've read and watched um and uh, then a few others as well i cannot really remember them uh but there was a few others which i like loved so much um, oh i think uh, kakao 100% there was another one i remember kind of like horimiya as far as i can remember you know like these are the shoujos that have doesn't really have drama in it and i like that um you know but nowadays the shoujos are a lot tamer <laughs> because back in the days i remember watching shoujos and i was like i i don't this is not for me like, you know that like everything can be like just solved and the characters talk to each other instead of just 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 like making the misunderstanding more and more so yeah <laughs> But yeah, it, it still this one the show the drama was a lot like toned down and I liked that a lot. Okay, Grand Blue. <laughs> this show is wild. Okay, I feel like this should have been in the comedy like tier list. Like uh, yeah, it is a slice of life, I guess. But the comedy like it shines like more in this show. So based on slice of life, I'm going to put it low. but you know it is going to be in the comedy tier list so it's going to go high up just because of the comedy i'm going to put it ah uh, now nah, you know what i'm going to put it here it's still high up there okay not here then over here yeah that would mean this is going to come down where did i put it oh here so at the middle i put it <laughs> grand blue is crazy <laughs> Oh boy, I I laughed I laughed a lot while watching Grand Blue. Oh boy, it's a show about what you know, diving, where the characters don't dive at all. They just drink and mess around, which is the 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 fun part of this show. And that is what makes it so hilarious. Like yeah, there is diving obviously, but <laughs> like ten of the episodes out of the twelve episodes, they just drink and like pass out and just <laughs> just. you know bros being bro bros that kind of show like it's just <laughs> crazy fun <laughs> okay um <laughs> right oh haruhi suzumiya oh yes haruhi is amazing oh god it's going to go high up i don't remember much of this show but good god it was fantastic it was like back in the day haruhi it still is probably going to still hold high in the list Haruhi is amazing. Oh god. It is one of the most craziest show and the main character is a brat, you know? Like you've seen Sundres? Oh, you don't know anything, you know? Unless and until you've seen Haruhi Suzumiya, you know? She makes Sundres cry with her brattiness. That is Haruhi Suzumiya. And it was fantastic. Just <laughs> 
I'm not going to say much. It has a very interesting theme to it. And if you haven't watched, again, like I said, newer anime watchers probably haven't watched Haruhi Suzumiya. But if you haven't, you should do so. And I remember in the second season, um, the endless, what was the name of it? The endless eight or something. <laughs> there was a time loop uh, arc where every single thing repeats again. I'm pretty sure you've seen this in, um, um, what's the name? Um, Bunny Girl Senpai. Wait a minute, where's Bunny Girl Senpai in this? That Bunny Girl Senpai should have been here in this tier list. It's not here, what the hell? Okay, anyways, I, I, like, what, what I was saying, it's kind of like the whole Bunny Girl Senpai to the end, two or three episodes, we saw the whole time loop thing. You know? It was called the Endless Eight, I think I remember. A time loop happened. Every episode, it was the same episode with one little thing difference. I was an idiot back then, or maybe it was actually like good for me because I watched it as how it was intended to. I watched every single episode expecting something to change, and it, nothing changed. Only one, like in one episode, probably there's like a character like sneezed or something. That was the only change it had. Something like that, you know, a very like basic and like a little thing changed. And every single episode, that was one of the most torturous and one of the most craziest experiences I've ever had. Watching every episode, expecting something to change, nothing changing. Basically the definition of insanity. You know, you do the same thing, expecting something to change, but it doesn't. Or something like that, the definition of insanity, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that was basically it, those eight episodes. And by the end of it, I was like, what the hell did I just do? I just wasted so much of my time just doing, seeing the same episode. It's literally watching the same episode every single day. Wild show, you know. And like I said, Haruhi Suzumiya, you've seen Sundares, if you are not happy with Sundares, if you hate Sundares, oh my god, Haruhi is going to take you on a ride, you know. Her brattiness knows no bounds. She's a, she's a brat of the brats, the king of the brats. She's the queen of the brats, she is. <laughs> so there you go. Just watch it if you haven't. It's a, it's a, it's a fun, it's a very fun ride. <laughs> free, I haven't watched free. Okay. Um, Surajira Children. I, I, I watched it, it was quite good with the like, different cast of characters. I, I think like middle school setting. Pretty average though. I'm going to put it under um, Gotobu no Hanayome. So yeah. Okay, the next one is uh, Wolf Children. Ooh, this one's good. Oh boy, this one's really good. Um, I'm going to put it below Silent Voice, yeah. Right, all these are going to come down then. Oh, oh, oh. Over here. Wolf Children is really good. Um, it's a... What can I say? It's a, it's a movie about motherhood, I think you could say. It's very emotionally, very like moving. Uh, if you have seen Makia, you know Makia the Flowers Bloom. If you have watched that show, it's kind of like that. You know, like a show about motherhood and like mother and their children, that kind of thing. It's a, it's a very emotional show. It's a good one. And uh, yeah, I loved it. I, when I watched it, I really liked it. All right. Now, <laughs> there's the daily life of high school boys. I didn't add it here because I could have added it here because I feel like the daily life of high school boys deserves to be in the comedy tier list. It's basically comedy. You know, there are size of life themes to it, but it's, it's just like, just fun thing. Like I, even though I put Nichijou here, I put Nichijou here, even though it's like the same to daily life of high school boys, but Nichijou actually had like a story, like I said, it has like a coherent story and a slice of life story that actually goes in the background. Unlike daily life of high school boys, where it's just, Every episode, there's dudes being dudes, like little kids being little kids, and just crazy, hilar hila hilarious stuff. So when I make a comedy tier list, it's going to definitely be over there, and it's going to be in one of the top tiers, because, oh boy, the show is good. And Ero Manga Sensei, yeah, here we go, there we go, wh wh where else? You know what? Nah, over here. You know the, <laughs> you know the whole Giga... <laughs> You, do you, have you watched that uh, video for uh, uh, like that Gigak made when Eno, Eno Manga Sensei came in? I think <laughs> he talked about how trash this show is, which makes it so good. This is like the it is so trash that it actually is good. Basically, that so I'm gonna put it in the trash tier because this is definitely where it deserves deserves to go. 
<laughs> like wait what was the what was the the quote that gig got said um, anime is trash so am i yeah i think something like that i think that was in the eromanga sensei video that he made that quote and i still remember it and i'll probably remember it for the rest of my days <laughs> so yeah eromanga sensei is a trash it's so trash that is actually kind of funny <laughs> So yeah, it definitely deserves to go in the trash tier. So there you go, trash. I, I didn't even put it over here. It's over here. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I was baffled to see it in the top 50. Good God. What are people doing? <laughs> okay, Kokoro Connect. Kokoro Connect is going to go high up because it's one of my personal favorites. Where should I put it? Be if, before Nagatoro. I think that is best. Yeah, Kokoro Connect is going to go high up there because I remember watching Kokoro Connect and it has slice of life themes to it, but there's a mystery, suspense, and fantasy theme to it as well, which blends in pretty nicely, you know, in a very good way. And it's like a beautiful taste in, in your mouth when you watch the whole show. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was quite good. I really enjoyed watching Kokoro Connect. So it came out quite a while ago. A lot of people probably haven't watched it. If you haven't, you should. It's quite good. Right, Blendis. Right, I didn't really like Blendis. You know, like, it's just... The whole meme, like, I'm gonna put it over there. Like, it's just a... It's fine. It's cute, you know, but... What else was it? Like, it's just... You know, the whole smile, sweet sister, sadistic, that whole meme that popped out of it? Just... Yeah, like, it's okay, but I, I didn't really like it that much. There you go, it's over there. Right, Sakamoto Desuka. <laughs> yes, good, a good show. I'm gonna put it after Blasting Memories. Yeah, I think that's, that's good. No, you know what? Uh, not after Blasting Memories, but... Yeah, over here. This, this part is better. There you go. Sakamoto Desuka, he's the guy who's too cool. And he's so cool that, like, everything just works out. You know, like, he, like, the stuff that he does is crazy. I'm pretty sure you've seen a few clips of him in the internet. You know, him doing some crazy stuff. Like, I don't know, sitting down, someone bullies him and takes out his chair and he's just there still sitting down. Even though there's no chair. And everyone's like, what the hell? <laughs> and then he uses his compass to get, like, a bee or something. Like, this black. <laughs> a cool guy, you know, a very cool guy. <laughs> Okay, um, there you go. And like I said, this it became like a 49. You know what? What's the next one? It became like a 49 um, because I, I put Oregairu two times. So let me see what is the next one. Uh, Yofukashi no Uta. I cannot put Yofukashi no Uta in a slice of life. Like what? No. It's more of a mystery suspense thriller kind of show. Uh, no, I, in no way can I put Yofukashi no Uta in slice of life. It has slice of life elements to it, but no. Okay, so the next one is... Okay, a few... No, wait. Okay, here we go. The next one is um, that show. Hige wo suru soshite joshi kose. That, um... I cut my beard or whatever. What was the name of the show? <laughs> that one. Um... Yeah, yeah, like... It's quite a weird one. But, you know, that's fine, I guess. I, I would put, probably put it over over here, this part, over here. If it was here at that point, I'm, I, I, it's not here. Like I said, I put Oregairu two times. It, it would probably be over here. You know, where did I put it? Yeah, here, somewhere. So, there you go. And there was, just after this, there were a few good ones, which I don't, which never came up in the top 50, which is, you know, because, for example, NHK ni Yokoso, a really good show. Uh, Umaru-chan, I didn't really like Umaru-chan that much, it was fine. Uh, Sainai Hyoin no Sotate Kata, probably would have been on the top, in the top few, like, you know, like, if it was here in the top 50. But any list, like, you know, ranking, like I said, Gamers, a really good one. This is a show that I watched, and it has an episode of full-on misunderstanding that is actually hilarious, you know? Like, it has, like, it blows your mind at how much the misunderstanding progresses. And it's like actually hilarious like you know like misunderstandings are frustrating in anime but this show is able to do something which makes the misunderstanding so much worse that it's actually comedy that was gamers you know um then shikimori-san 
Oh, Shikamaru san was quite good. I liked it. I've seen a lot of people not like it, but it, it was good. I liked it. It was a fun little like you know, fun little anime. Uh, the manga is quite highly rated, so I don't really know why the anime was not really liked. I have no idea. Anyways, and then there was Karkai Jozo no Takagi-san. Takagi-san again would have been on the top, but it's not here in the top 50 annual list rankings. And then there is Nana. I haven't watched Nana. Um, then Boku wa Tomodachi ka Sukunai. Yeah, it, it'll probably be in the mid tier. You know. And then there's Kiki's Delivery Service, another Ghibli movie. Very good. Loved it. Yudu Camp, a really good show. I haven't watched the season 2, but season 1 was fantastic. Peak slice of life. No. And then there's Bochi the Rock. Oh god. You know what? It is slice of life, but I'm definitely going to put Bochi the Rock in the comedy genre. Yeah, Bochi the Rock is comedy gold. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be there in the comedy list. Uh, okay. Um, then there is GTO. I haven't watched GTO. I should. I've heard it's really good. Tsukigakire. Tsukigakire is also really good. I remember watching it. Barakumon. Barakumon should have been here. Yeah, it, it should it definitely deserve to be top. Watashi ka mote na no do that girl, that crazy girl. Like, I'm not popular because it's your fault or something like that. <laughs> Poor, pure cringe show, but it's so cringe that it's actually entertaining. Um, ore mo, oh my god, ore mo. <laughs> ore no imoto wa konna ni kawai wa ke janai. Good god, another <laughs> ero manga sensei. <laughs> oh boy, I remember watching ore mo. Uh, I, I was, I was... I was new to anime, just imagine watching Oremo when you're new to anime, good god. I was like, what the hell is happening here? What is this? <laughs> it was an experience, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and, and then I realized like, yeah, you know what, anime is for degenerates. I realized how much it <laughs> for degenerates anime is. After watching Oremo and then I realizing and a few other shows, like good god. Um, then there's um, Hinamatsuri, oh Hinamatsuri should have been here. Oh. Uh, Miyaruko-chan should have been here in the top. And uh, Gokushufudo. Now Gokushufudo, I love the manga, but the anime, I don't know. The anime did it in a way which kind of shows still screens. I didn't really like that style of animation. It's very beautifully animated though. However, it has like a different style of animation, which I didn't really like, you know. It's probably my preference. I've heard like a lot of people love this show. But the manga is top-notch manga. I loved it. Hibike Euphonium, haven't watched it. Then there is Nagino Asakura, really good show. A lot of misunderstanding, love triangle, love square, as far as I can remember. Um, yeah, Asobi Asobase definitely deserves to be in the comedy tier list, not here. Um, then there is Josei to Tora no Saka Natachi. I should watch this, I, I have plans on watching this. Blue Period, oh boy, Blue Period is amazing. It should be here. Blue Period is great. It is the Sangasuno Lion of painting. Like Sangasuno Lion of, is of Shogi. This is the Sangasuno line of painting. And yeah. B stars too. B stars shouldn't be here at, at all. Lucky Star, haven't watched. Usagi chan. I don't really like Usagi chan that much. Basic. But the, the latest season kind of like was kind of like, like I, I liked it. The latest season. Gabriel Dropout, really good show. Otome game, that girl, that game. Majo no Tabi Tabi is quite good. Hajime no Gal, Net Ju no Susume, all these shows after this comes. Yeah, so there you go. Interesting to say Chihaya Furu so down. I haven't watched Chihaya Furu, but I've heard that Chihaya Furu is amazing. So it's weird to see it so down. Probably in the shoujo genre, it's probably there high up. Chihaya Furu. Um, but yeah, there you go. And there's still a lot I can see here that I really love. For example, um, Lovely Complex is here. Um, then there is Shumatsu, uh, Shoujo Shumatsu Ryoko, really good. Um, who else? Um, Tomo-chan, you know. Um, Kakushigoto, oh, Kakushigoto is good. Oh, Kakushigoto deserves to be here. Oh, Kakushigoto is one of the top shows. I loved Kakushigoto. Um, Senko-san is here, then... Oh god, this one's here. Oh, that should have been here as well. Arabaru Kisetsu no Otome Domoyo. If you haven't watched it, you should. It's one of my top, like, favorite slice of life. Um, Girls of the Savage... Maidens of the Savage Season or something like that. I, I don't remember the English name. But it it's quite underrated. It went under the radar of a lot of people. I watched it and I loved it. It has a really, like, I guess you could say, like, thought-provoking story. And, uh, you know, 
basically like you know young kids growing up and the difficulties they like you know like fall like you know like through while growing up you know like for example love uh, you know and other like you know feelings these type of thing kind of tackles a few interesting topics and yeah so yeah i can see i can still see there's a lot of other shows that i really love in the lower rankings working what else shadows shadows house is not slice of life what the hell <laughs> what uh, uh yeah i like that one as well yeah what else ascendance of the bookworm i guess that's an isekai um um Amamato Inazuma, Skip to Loafer, latest one. I love Skip to Loafer. Um, Kino no Tabi, is Kino no Tabi a slice of life? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. There's so many that are in the lower rankings and are so good. I can see. Um, what else? Little Busters. Oh god, Little Busters. Great. What else? Bakato test, yeah. Boku no kokoro no yabai yatsu. It should have been here. Uh, Dangers in my heart, the English name. Um, yeah, I like all these. There you go. And that was it. There you have it. Here's the tier list, you can watch it, look at it, at it. And yeah, there you go, that was my uh, reaction, or me ranking the top 50 slice of life anime from Anilist. Like I said, my anime list had a weird way of, like, you know, kind of putting them in genres. So I switched to Anilist. And uh, there you go. As you can see, um, the top few animes. Is still there in the top, but one of the biggest changes that I made is put Sangha Sun Alive on the top. And I, I, I'm, that'll be there forever. You know, for now at least, you know, like even unless and until a crazier shows than, a, a better show than Sangha Sun Alive comes out. Which I doubt is going to happen. I even ranked it higher than Oregaru. Oregaru is peak. And uh, yeah, so that is how much I love the show. So there you go. And uh, there you go, that is it. That was the ranking. And... Uh, yeah, I, I did a, quite a bit of changing, but this is my preference. So that is it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to make more videos like this in the future as well. Uh, this time, it'll probably be a different genre like comedy, action, action like shonen and stuff like that. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. And uh, yeah, so that is it. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.